Hi friends, I am VS Rao. Welcome to VSR Tech Info YouTube channel. In this video, I am presenting Zigbee technology, which is from Zigbee Alliance, similar to the top Wi Fi Alliance, predominantly used in home automation, medical, and industrial IoT applications. Zigbee operates in ISM band of 2.4 GHz, which is globally accepted. ISM stands for Industrial, Scientific and Medical Use. This ISM band is non-licensed and is free to use. Let us go into the details now. Zigbee Technology Zigbee, a specification for communication in a wireless personal area network has been called the Internet of Things IoT. Zigbee is a IEEE 802.15.4 based, most popular industry wireless mesh networking standard supporting low power, low data rate wireless networks, which is basically used for two way communication between sensors, instrumentation, and control systems. Zigbee is a short range communication standard like Bluetooth and Wi Fi covering a range of 10 to 100 meters. The operating frequencies are 868 MHz, 902 to 928 MHz and 2.4 GHz. 2.4 GHz is a global band. ISM band 2.4 to 2.5 GHz is globally accepted. Zigbee technology is used mainly for applications requiring low power, low cost, low data rate and long battery life. Zigbee standard was developed by Zigbee Alliance which was formed in 2002 as a non-profit organization including many major companies like Philips, Mitsubishi Electric, Epson, Atmel, Texas Instruments, etc. Zigbee architecture is shown here. The Zigbee network protocol follows IEEE 802.15.4 standards for physical and MAC layers along with its own network and application layers. Physical and MAC layers are defined by IEEE standard and network and application layers are defined by Zigbee specifications. IEEE 802.15.4 supports STAR and P2P topologies. Zigbee specification supports STAR and it's two kind of P2P topologies, mesh and cluster tree. Zigbee compliant devices are sometimes specified as supporting point to point and point to multi point topologies. Each network topology consists of three types of nodes Zigbee coordinator, Zigbee router, and Zigbee end device. Zigbee devices are of two types full function device. FFD and reduced function device RFD. Network topologies of Zigbee Cluster tree, star network, mesh network. And in all the networks, the center one is the Zigbee coordinator. First, this needs to be configured and this will join the other nodes. In a start topology, the coordinator is the central device which initiates and manages devices within the network. Coordinator performs the task of allocating unique address to each device in the network, initiates and transfers messages in the network and selects a unique identifier for the network. Each end device communicates with the coordinator. The end devices are generally RFD that is reduced function devices which can only communicate with the coordinator or the FFD full function device. In P2P topology each end device can communicate with one another placed in its vicinity. The devices are FFDs which can communicate directly with each other. However, P2P topology can contain a RFD which communicates with only one device in the network. 
A P to P topology can be a mesh topology or a tree topology. Coordinator Zigbee networks always have a single coordinator device. Coordinator need to be installed first for establishing Zigbee network service. It starts a new PAN, selecting the channel and PAN ID. Once started, other Zigbee components that is router and end devices can join the network PAN. Coordinator buffers wireless data packets for sleeping and devices. The coordinator manages other functions that define the network, secure it and keep it healthy. This device cannot sleep and must be powered on at all the times. PAN ID is used to communicate between Zigbee devices. It is a 16-bit number. Coordinator always will have PAN ID set to 0 and all other devices will receive a 16-bit address when they join the PAN. Router A router is a full-featured Zigbee node. This device can join existing networks to send, receive and route information. Routing involves acting as a messenger for communications between other devices that are too far apart to convey information on their own. Router can buffer wireless data packets for sleeping and devices. It can also allow other routers and end devices to join the network. Router cannot sleep and must be powered on at all times. Zigbee network may have multiple router devices in the network. First, router needs to join the network and it can allow other routers and devices to join the PAN and devices. End device is a battery powered and do not support any child devices. An end device is essentially a reduced version of router. This device can join existing networks to send and receive information but cannot act as router between any other no, devices. End devices cannot allow other devices to join the network. End devices use less expensive hardware and can power itself down intermittently thus saving energy by entering into sleep mode. End device needs a router or the coordinator to be its parent device. The parent helps end devices join the network and store messages for them when they are asleep. Zigbee networks may have a number of end devices. In fact, a network can be composed of one coordinator, multiple end devices and zero routers. This is Zigbee Mesh Network. The center one is the coordinator connected with routers and end devices. Zigbee network. There are two main steps in completing Zigbee network installation. Number one, forming the network by coordinator, and number two, joining the network by routers and end devices. Forming the Zigbee network. Coordinator searches for suitable RF channel which is usable and not interfering with wireless LAN frequencies in use as wireless LAN also operates in the same 2.4 GHz band. Coordinator starts the network by assigning a PAN ID to the network. Assignment is done in two ways. One, manual which is pre-configured and two, dynamic that is obtained by checking other PAN IDs of the networks already into the operation nearby so that PAN ID does not conflict with other networks. Coordinator also assigns networks network address to itself that is 0x0000. 
coordinator now completes its configuration and is ready to accept network joining requests from routers and end devices who wish to join the band. Also, coordinator sends broadcast back on request frame on remaining white channel. This is also referred as beacon scan or pan scan. By this, coordinator receives pan ID of routers and end devices present nearby. Now, router or end device can join by sending association request to coordinator. Coordinator will respond with the association response. Joining the Zigbee network. There are two ways for a router or end device to join a Zigbee network. One, MAC association and number two, network rejoin. MAC association can be performed between coordinator and router or end device or router and end device or router and other router. After coordinator has already established the PAN network, next step for router or end device is to find out whether coordinator is allowing to join network or not to PAN, scan or send beacon request frame. When router or end device come to know that they can join the network, they will send association request frame and will join the network as soon as they receive the association response. Coordinator router allow a new device to join network depends on two main factors. Permit joining attribute and number of end device children it has Communication using Zigbee Transfer of data can be between a coordinator and device or P2P. Data transfer between coordinator and end device can be done using two methods. One, beacon enabled and number two, non-beacon enabled. Beacon enabled networking. In this, coordinator allocates a particular time slot to each device known as Guaranteed Time Slot GTS. Here all the devices in the network need to be synchronized. Clock synchronization is ensured by sending a beacon signal from the coordinator to each end device or the node. However, this may end up reducing the battery life of devices when not performing any other task than synchronizing their clock. Once the device is synchronized, can transmit data to the coordinator using carrier sense multiple axis with collision avoidance CSMA CA method. On receiving a request, the coordinator sends back the acknowledgement. For transfer of data from coordinator to device, an indication is sent with a beacon message to the device. The device then receives this indication and sends a data request message. The coordinator sends an acknowledgement of this data request received and transfers the corresponding data. Non-beacon networking. In this, the coordinator does not transmit any beacon message, rather each device transmits data using CSMA CA method in the same frequency channel. The device transmits the data as soon as the channel is clear. For transfer of data from coordinator to device, the device first sends a data request message to the coordinator and on availability of data, the coordinator transmits the data message with an LN payload. For non-pending data, the coordinator sends an acknowledgement indication, no data pending. Applications of Zigbee technology Home and office automation, industrial automation, medical monitoring, low power sensors, high voltage AC control, control and monitoring users. Home automation Zigbee technology proves to be the most reliable technology in realizing home automation. Different applications like controlling and monitoring energy consumption, water management, light control, etc. 
have been made easier through automation using Zigbee technology. Industrial Automation Zigbee based RFIDs help provide reliable access management in industries. Other applications in industries include process control, energy management, personal tracking, etc. Healthcare Automation Example Remote Health Monitoring a person wears a Zigbee device with a body parameter measuring sensor which collects the health information. This information is transmitted from the Zigbee network to the internet and then to the doctor who would then prescribe proper medication based on the received information. Zigbee Home Automation This is the example slide which shows the home automation. Mobile office PC is connected via home gateway, a video door phone, door lock, fire and smoke detection, lighting control, climate control, appliances control and analog and IP camera to be connected to the home automation. Zigbee Pinot details. Zigbee operates on 3.3 volts DC. Advantages of Zigbee Setting up the Zigbee network is very simple and easy. It does not have central controller and loads are distributed evenly across the network. It is easy to monitor and control home appliances from remote. It will take the place of existing infrared technology based devices. This will save cost of battery replacement as Zigbee uses lithium battery which lasts long. The network is scalable and it is easy to add remote Zigbee end devices to the network. Disadvantages of Zigbee Owner requires knowledge of the system to operate Zigbee compliant devices. It is not secure like Wi-Fi based secure system. Replacement cost will be high when any problem occurs in Zigbee compliant home appliances. Like other wireless systems, Zigbee based communication is prone to attack from unauthorized people. The coverage is limited and hence cannot be used as outdoor wireless communication. Zigbee Frequency Bands These are the Zigbee channels. Comparison of wireless standards between Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and Zigbee. The data rate for Zigbee is 250 kbps which is very low compared to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Maximum number of nodes per network in Zigbee is 64K which is much higher compared to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Number of channels it offers is 16 channels. This is a comparison of Zigbee devices at the network layer. The coordinator, router and end devices are compared. Only end device can sleep. Zigbee Stacks Physical and Mac layer are defined in IEEE 802.15.4. 
नेटवर्क लेयर एप्लीकेशन फ्रेमवर्क एप्लीकेशन प्रोफाइल और दिस इक बी एंड एप्लीकेशन लेयर इज कस्टमर एप्लीकेशन थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक वी एस आर टेक इन फो